Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi, my name's Jack, it's nice to meet you. So, there'll be a lot of people who do not get the obsession with the Kardashians, and there'll be a lot of people who probably don't care, but I, for one, have always been so interested in the way the family works, the business side, the social side. I just find it crazy how much this family has just completely taken over the world. Today's video is going to be slightly different. Now, as their new show has recently just finished on Hulu called The Kardashians. I thought it would be fun if I sat down and gave it a review. Now, I would say I'm probably one of the biggest Kardashian fans out there, like all my friends would know. I'm just obsessed. I don't know what it is, I'm just, I'm just obsessed. So when I actually Googled the show, um, the first thing that came up was that it's the biggest streaming premiere on Hulu and Disney Plus. So, a lot of people probably don't like the Kardashians and probably won't care, but clearly they have such a big hold over the world and they've got us sucked in. So we're going to sit down, we're going to review it. So if you want to grab a cup of, grab a Coke Zero, get yourself comfy and let's get in with the video. One thing that I was actually really so surprised about was how high production this new show is. So much more to what we ever got when the show was filmed with E and it was called Keeping Up With The Kardashians. So the first episode opened with basically this drone that was flying through each of the girls' mansions, which I thought was just so like extra. And it really just, it just feels so much more high tech. And I feel like it's just given, look at me, I'm rich. It's just so much more show offy, which personally I love. Like I want to see everything. Like I want to see inside the house. I want to see like what cars you've got. I want to see the clothes. I want to see everything. So I was living for all of this. Of course, there was a lot of drama this season. There was a few things that happened with Kim's alleged unseen bits of a sex tape coming to light. It's okay. It's okay. It's not okay though, it's not, you know, on Roblox. For me, like, who wants to see unseen bits of a tape? Like, what would it be? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, there's, it's nothing we probably haven't already seen before, so I was just kind of like, do you know why you were sort of stressed about it? But, so Scott did make an appearance in this series, which I was actually quite shocked about. And it just felt very, it was very Scott and Courtney drama based. And I just thought for like a new sort of show, is that really the vibe that you want? So I, I personally like, I'm, I'm bored if you're in the Scott and Courtney drama. Salud. So where's your head at with Court? <laughs> there was a lot of Scott being, playing the victim, I feel like that's the vibe I was getting. He was playing the victim and nobody likes a victim. Immediately I was just like, oh, I just wanted to skip through it. Next, I'm gonna move on to Courtney. Now, Courtney was, I was, to be honest, I was quite shocked to see Courtney in this as well. Compared to the last few seasons of Keeping Up where she was just like, I'm not filming. Like, it was just very shocking to say that she was wanting to do this show. I have decided to take a big step back from filming. I mean, I'm guessing the paycheck's good. And I was surprised to see how open she was in this as well, especially with her relationship with Travis. You know, she really was not sort of holding back at all with the whole PDA. Like, I'm gonna be honest, like, I, I do really like Courtney, but I think it's fucking disgusting. Um, yeah. I just don't think it's the vibe, and it's just coming across as a bit forced as well. I feel like she's trying to live this whole rock and roll lifestyle, and I just don't really feel like it's working for her. Chloe was back in this series. I feel like you can really connect with Chloe and her emotions. As we've known her, she's really been through a lot, and I feel like a lot of people can relate to Chloe for the experiences that she's went through and that we've seen. This season starts off really good. You know, she's just got her new house. Good Americans doing really well. And then the bombshell comes comes in and apologies if you haven't actually watched this by the way <laughs> you might want to click off he does actually che well, I mean it's not it's not uncommon knowledge that he cheated on her for the 57th time you know when you just want to get someone and you just want to shake them and you just want to say what the fuck are you doing like honestly like that's that's how I feel when I watch her and if like I really feel for Chloe and I think that everyone who says it's her fault is just so out of touch people always just blame the girl you know what I mean it's is it so up that society blames me or women it's 
disgusting and like deplorable of these people to talk about other people like that. Like there's no empathy, there's no compassion. It must be so hard as well because she's got True and she obviously wants more kids and you want to have sort of a stable family and you just want like a really good family unit and I feel like that's all she's ever wanted and he's just not given her right. Kim K was back this series as well and I feel like Kim was actually given quite a lot but I feel like because Kim is the main one, when is she not given a lot? Started off with her getting SNL, I was actually really shocked as well to see that she was doing SNL in the first place but she actually really killed our monologue, like I remember watching it at the time and I was just like, <laughs> that was actually really funny. When I divorced him, you have to know it came down to just one thing, his personality. We've seen a lot this series from Kim and the Kanye drama and how she was sort of navigating that with the kids and you know her new date in life with Pete which was really interesting to see. Pete didn't actually make an appearance this series. She did kind of go into and just said look like if I'm dating somebody I don't just want to like have them in the, in the show kind of thing straight away because imagine if it does go tits up which you never know so i get it like we obviously haven't seen him yet but she has been talking about him and she seems really happy to be honest like i really like this version of kim compared to the kanye era i feel like she's so much more fun and free and i feel like she's being herself a lot more which is really nice to see to be honest Hopefully in season two we actually get to meet Pete and see what that relationship's like. Like I'm actually so interested to see it because I'm not gonna lie, when it first came about that Kim and Pete Davidson were seeing each other, I was like, really? And then now like I'm starting to actually warm the idea and I'm like, actually this is a really cute couple, like I really back it. You can just see how much Kanye's influence had on Kim. And I feel like now that that's been taken away, I feel like she's so much more herself. I mean, he completely changed her. Like, he took away all of her clothes. Like, he was, like she was his muse. And I just think stuff like that's really toxic. So I feel like she's learned what's toxic and she's not putting up with it anymore. And I think that's so girl boss. I have all the time, all the money, and all of the resources to burn them all to the f Ground. Of course, Miss Kris Jenner did make an appearance this series. She is the matriarch after all. I really loved Kris in this because I just feel like we'll get to see how extra she is and you can just really see that on screen. You know, even with her house and she's always walking around with a martini and I just love that. When I am in my 60s, that is who I want to be like. I want to be the Kris Jenner. I just feel like she lives the dream, like she actually lives the dream. And I feel like she's such a boss as well and it's just... Although I do need to know how much Corey is getting for an allowance. I mean, there's got to be something going on there because... <laughs> to be fair, I do actually really back Chris and Corey. Like, when it, well, when it all first came out that they were seeing each other, I was kind of like... I didn't really know what I make of it, but now I've actually really warmed to the idea as well. And I feel like they do actually make a pretty cute couple, to be honest. And I feel like he does really care for her. They seem to have a lot of fun together, to be honest. They're always laughing and doing God knows what. Can I have a kiss? Yeah. Yeah. That's it? Sex at my age is amazing and a beautiful thing. Kendall and Kylie also did make an appearance this series. I'm not gonna lie, I was quite disappointed that we didn't get to see much of Kylie, but I guess she's she was really heavily pregnant and like she was about to pop, so. Are they gonna poke or talk to my I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe what did you just pepper. say? Her and Chris went to the supermarket for fun. Is that what you do when you're like so rich? <laughs> I just think when I'm pregnant, I just wanna feel really normal. I Normal. I have not been to a grocery store in two years. You want some help out with this? No, we want to push the cart ourselves. I loved every minute of it. Aren't you supposed to turn the cart? I think one of my favorite moments this season was the scene where Chris was clapping for Kylie, who was pushing the trolley back to where it needed to go. Go, Kylie, go! I need someone doing that for me when I'm at Asda and I'm putting my shopping through the checkout. I need someone clapping for me when I'm putting the trolley back, you know? So I really loved that. I, a lot of people thought it was quite out of touch, but I thought it was quite funny. I do like Kendall, but I just, I don't really feel like she gives a lot. I feel like she's just quite, I feel like she's always dead mellow. Like, I don't really feel like she's given a lot. My favorite part of my body is my height. 
I was a tomboy for a couple years. So those years, I think I was more into sports and being a tomboy. I'm weird, I love my tits being out. It's like one of my things. I didn't have famous people on my wall. I was obsessed with animals, I still am. Like, I'm a nerd. I'm not like cool like that. I barely know half the celebrities' names now. In a past life, I think I was an animal. Either a Great Dane or a lab. Because Great Danes are like, they have long legs and they're big and I'm big and I have long legs and they're awkward. I feel like Kendall just gives very random. It's just very random vibe. Just wasn't given a lot, I'm not gonna lie. So that is pretty much everyone who was in this series for this season. For season two, I'm really hoping that we do actually get to see Kylie's baby because he has been born and nobody knows where he is, what he is or what he's even called. So I'm really hoping that she does reveal that on there. I hope that Kim still continues doing what she's doing and just being an absolute boss. And we actually get to see Pete as well. That be so interesting to see. For Chloe, I really just feel like she gets over Tristan and she just powers through. You can do it girl, we've got your back. We believe in you. Courtney, I just hope that she keeps the kissing just to a minimum. Just need to reel it in, reel it in. And actually, I hope we'll get to see her wedding in Italy as well because that would be so interesting to see. But overall, I did actually really enjoy this series. I'm loving the new format of the show. It's so much more documentary style. I feel like hopefully in the next season we can actually see what the girls are doing day to day. Like I want to see what goes on business wise. But yeah, it's a yes from me. It's approved and I can't wait for season two. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you like the Kardashians? Have you watched the new show? What do you think about this show compared to the old show? Let's have a conversation, I'm really interested to know. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you do like these kind of review videos and you wanna see more, please let me know and comment down below. I also actually wanna say it while I'm here, thank you so much for 300 subscribers. We've finally hit that. I'm actually so grateful, like I looked the other day and I seen I had 300 and I was like, oh my God, like and I, I literally only thought like not even 10 people would subscribe to my channel, so. The fact that I've got 300 now is just like crazy to me and I, I absolutely love it. Like I love doing this and... But yeah, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you do like my content. And give this video a thumbs up as well if you've enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.